Hello, my name is Paul Ewins and I'm an artist printmaker. And what I've chosen to do is to show you how I produce one of the prints that's in the show. And it's a small, it's a small little image, which this is the printing plate that I use to create the print. Now, this is done by a method called intaglio, a dry point intaglio. This is something called dry point card that I've used to use this as a printing surface and for intaglio you are cutting and creating lines and textures as so you're starting off with a blank sheet of dry point card with a shiny surface the shiny surface will expel that ink when you're wiping it off or you can cut your lines in which then will hold the ink for you and to create these lines i need a sharp instrument so myself, I use anything from a scalpel to create a really fine line. Dry point tools that any copper engraver or etcher will also use something like this. Something even as simple as a pin, if you want to have a little fine, you know, dot. You can scrape that over the surface as well. Then to create some of these, I don't know if you can see those sort of scuffed up lines here. I've used sandpaper and any of these lines, textures will hold that ink for you. This very dark area here is where I've cut the shape of that barn or the telegraph pole and I've peeled back the paper. But it's quite an unusual surface to be working on because I'm somebody who draws a lot. I quite like this surface because it feels comparable to sketching or drawing on, on a paper surface to me. I'm just finding at the moment that I'm, I'm enjoying experimenting with, with this surface. It doesn't last an awful long time. You have to be quite careful with it because as you can imagine, it's quite thin. But if you take care of it, you can get quite a few prints from it. We're now at the inking up stage. If I move it up a bit. So I need to protect my hands because this printmaking ink is very dense and goes everywhere if you don't watch out. So there's that wonderful toothbrush. Let's see if we can just angle that just a little bit. I'll be pushing that ink down into the whole of the surface of the plate because I just want that ink to go everywhere. A little bit goes a long way so the main mistake that beginner printmakers make is they use far too much ink or a little bit as I said goes a long long way. Can you see that starting to appear? So let's try not to put my hands over the plate too much so let's move on let's move that to one side and take this scrim that's a little bit cleaner so I can start to see the paler surface of the plate which is the areas that are going to be paler. If I hold that up you can see that the image is starting to appear a little just go in there can you see what I'm doing if I take if I take my finger into that, I can actually really remove ink in very definite places if I want to. I'm almost there with that inking. This is why I've just used a very simple plate, though, because sometimes if you're inking up, scrimming and, and wiping a plate, it can take a long, long time. But that's what it's all about, isn't it? Attention to detail. And you can do some wonderful things with with this so now I've taken my gloves off so I can feel feel the surface a bit better and I'm taking off just a very very fine layer of ink so I'm establishing some real lighter areas if I want to so that's that's the image really scrimmed off so you can almost see what's going to be established there. Now the last thing to do is just to run very carefully 
a clean rag along the edges of the plate. We don't want a black line around the entire plate here. Now this happens particularly with dry point. The plate is inked up. I've got the paper over here already damped and ready. The etching press, so what we're going to do is, I'm going to fold these blankets back. Just one last thing to show you, which is a bed sheet. Now this will give me the correct register. I've already traced around the paper, which is this outer line here. Then the inner line is where the inked up plate will lie. My plate is here, just being careful not to put my inky fingers over it. And I'm going to lift the paper up onto the, the bed of the press so it will lay on top of that inked plate so that will then lift the image off the correct way round. So, so I'll lay that in position. So let me peel it off. So that's the magical bit I hope. Just being very careful not to shift it. But this process has been going on for hundreds of years really so let's have a look so I don't know if you can see that let's see if we can peel that back and there's a print so if I wanted to do another print I'd have to go through that process all over again ink it up scrim it off polish it up but and the thing about prints is although Say, for instance, I've done a series of five of these. Although it would be the same image, each one would be slightly different because of this hands-on physicality of inking and wiping that plate. So in printmaking, each print will just vary slightly and you'll be able to see the hand of the printmaker at work. So, But it seemed to make sense to just do something with a variety of texture and variety of lines for you to see. So thanks for watching and hope that's made a bit of sense to you. Bye and see you again.